Welcome back. Today I want to talk about 2020 eyesight and starting diopters of myopia. And the thing is, I started out with minus 5 diopter myopia and I'm currently at 2020 vision, which took a relatively very long time for me because I didn't know what I was doing. And I get asked ever so often, and it comes up in the Facebook group, whether people actually get all the way back to 2020 or if the improvements with N myopia are just a few diopters. And to that effect, and what brought this up is a post from Emily in the Facebook group, which says, great news, I passed the vision test at the DMV Department of Motor Vehicles today. Excited to be frame free and correction free for driving. Post goes on a little bit, I'll link that below. Now, first of all, to pass the DMV, you only need 2040 vision in the US as far as I know so for one that tells you interesting things about the optometrist and them requiring you to see 2020 or wanting you to see 2010 actually where the government considers 2040 to be reasonable eyesight that's one thing the second thing is Emily has reached a point where the US government says you can drive a car without glasses. So she's reached not quite back to 2020 where we like to be, but she's reached a point where she doesn't need glasses for everyday eyesight. And <clears throat> this happens a fair amount, but it only happens one time per person. So when you're looking at improvement reports, the average myop has minus four doctors, minus five doctors. Some are much higher, some are a little bit lower you have to realize that the average improvement rate, and I talked about this in another video previously, you get one diopter, or as theoretically possibly as much as one diopter in the first 90 days. Um, more on that discussion, look at my channel for that particular video. But then from then, most people improve at a rate of about 0.75 diopters per year. So you could say that's relatively slow. Now consider that if you're starting at minus five, minus six, minus seven diopters, we could get a lot of improvement reports, a lot of stories of eyesight getting better before the 2020 report. And that 2020 report could be five, six, seven years out. Uh, consider that I've only been running the website for three years or thereabouts. So there's that. There's the fact that the last diopter usually takes a little while. So for every, 10 improvement reports from one person, you might get one back to 2020 report, which makes them somewhat infrequent. Um, not to make any excuses for it, but simply the reality is that you're gonna get dozens and even hundreds of stories before you get one story of a back to 2020, hey, I don't need glasses anymore. They do happen, if you look in the Facebook group, you'll find them, if you look on the website, you'll find them. They're just infrequent compared to diopter improvement reports. I'm saying this because some people, I believe, make the excuse for themselves, hey, this seems to just only work for a few diopters, which I understand that, but you also have to consider that every diopter changes your vision, right? And I get the idea of you don't want to get into something that doesn't work, quote unquote, all the way, which this does, unlike various other methods, but Every diopter matters, right? Like at minus two diopters, you can read your computer screen, you can read books, you can read objects that are, you know, 50, 60 centimeters away without any correction. So once you get to minus two diopters, all of your close up all day, natural focal plane. You just eliminated the artificial focal plane from your eyesight completely for a close up. That's, for example, a big milestone. Minus three diopters, one diopter higher. Um, I found myself that at minus three diopters, I was able to find my glasses if I misplaced my glasses, which was really annoying at minus four and higher because you put your glasses somewhere, you're not at home, you're in an unfamiliar place, and you can't remember where you put them and you can't find them, which is kind of embarrassing. So at minus three, you're kind of at the point where you can find your glasses. Um, minus four diopters. Minus four diopters, you have notably a larger image and a better general field of vision than with higher diopter myopia, right? Because the lower the diopters, the less the lenses make the image smaller, 
if you have minus eight diopter myopia, you actually see the world smaller than somebody who's got low myopia. So, you know, even minus five is a milestone. And then beyond that, every single diopter reduces your risk of serious potential future complications. Glaucoma is tied to myopia. A lattice degeneration is tied to myopia. Retinal detachment is very significantly tied to myopia. There's a whole lot of much more serious conditions that are directly tied to the degree of myopia. So for every doctor you reduce, you reduce those risks. And even though most of us don't care until things go wrong, you do not want any of those things to happen to you. So those reductions are important. Lots of other things, like the lower the diopters are, the less expensive lenses you need to buy. You know, like high adopter requires more expensive lenses. Even with expensive lenses, high index lenses, you'll still get distortion in the periphery that you don't get with lower myopia. So you want to count the milestones instead of just looking at the top of the mountain and standing at the bottom of that mountain today and going, that seems too far away. Right? It's not too far away. What you want to look at is if you're at minus nine right now, then you want to, you want to plan for the minus eight, right? At minus eight, you're going to see a larger image. You're already going to see less distortion. You're already going to have a much lower risk of retinal detachment and glaucoma and other issues. You are on the way to the top of the mountain. So it's important to have a positive outlook. It's important to ask the question too, because it's definitely true that like Bates method and other things I rag on often, you get that first diopter improvement. You might even get two diopters improvement, but it's pretty rare for people to get all the way back to 2020, which the issue with that in my mind is that the method itself doesn't address causality, right? Because your eye biologically is designed to seek amitropia. Your eye is trying to be at natural quote unquote 2020 vision. Your eye wants to be there. So when you figure out the balance of strain and stimulus, your eye is headed in that direction immediately. As soon as you limit strain and as soon as you provide adequate positive stimulus, your eye is headed towards 2020. Like, like a train going downhill, it's just, it wants to get there, right? So that's all you need to figure out. So the, asking the question of does this work all the way back to 2020 is legitimate because you want the method to address causality, which various other methods don't. They address overprescription, they address strain to some degree, but they're not really giving you the positive stimulus to head in that direction. So legitimate question, the answer to that is yes, 2020 improvement happens. See the link below for a recent Facebook post. There are more of those in there from other people who've gotten all the way back to 2020. I've gotten all the way back to 2020. Start with the milestones, start heading in that direction. Look at the science, look at the biology, and you will definitely get there. That's it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. This is my first one in this space. This is my my rooftop. I wanted it to be my office, but then baby mama kind of commandeered it to make it into a cafe. So I still don't know where my recording spaces will be. Um, I'm hoping to make these more frequent and more about just everyday topics that come up all the time, that come up in the Facebook group, that I post about in the blog. I do videos much less frequently because I'm never happy with the sound. I'm never happy with just, it takes a lot more to make this and it's still not very decent. So trying to get there though. Anyway, see you in the next one. Bye bye bus people.